Hello everyone, and welcome to some more horrific news. Okay, it looks like we've got some Nosferatu updates, so I thought we'd take a look. Robert Eggers' Nosferatu filmed at the same castle as Werner Herzog's version. For over 100 years now, Nosferatu has been the ultimate cinematic vampire, or vampire if you want to go really old school. The Crooked Shadow of F.W. Murnau's 1922 film still looms large over the genre, later reimagined by Werner Herzog in his 1979 Nosferatu. Even the making of Nosferatu still has its fangs in people, as fictionalised in 2000's Shadow of the Vampire, in which Violin Defoe's Max Schreck, the actor who played Count Orlok, turns out to actually be a vampire. All of which to say, Robert Eggers has big shoes to fill with his 2024 take on Nosferatu, conjuring a full blood vision of the classic story in all its gothic terror. When it came to finding real life locations befitting an ancient vampire's lair, it was impossible not to reconnect with Nosferatu's history. The gatehouse and courtyard of Count Orlok's gaff in Eggers' film was shot in Pernstein Castle in the Czech Republic, except in choosing the location, the filmmaker didn't initially realise it was already part of Nosferatu lore. It was actually used as the castle for Werner Herzog's Nosferatu. The filmmaker tales empire, but I've been consciously not watching that film, so it didn't occur to me. Thankfully, he soon realised that he intended to shoot different parts of Pernstein to Herzog, and it wouldn't be simply retreading the past. We were able to use the Herzog castle without using the Herzog castle, which was kind of awesome, he says. As for the external image of Orlok's abode, the role went to Transylvania's Hondura castle. We wanted to shoot Transylvania for Transylvania, but at the end, it wasn't financially feasible, Eger notes, so we shot some plates. Most of Transylvania is the Czech Republic, but the most epic landscapes are actually Transylvania including the castle. Sometimes you simply need the real deal. And words. Okay, so that's it. A short one. So that's interesting. Well, it makes sense. There's only so many castles left standing and uh, why not use it? I I'm looking forward to this film. I, am. I think Eggert's going to do a good job. I have faith in him. He's not going to mess this up. And hopefully Bill Skarsgård can redeem himself from previous abominations that he was part of. <laughs> he might pull it back from the brink, so to speak. But there you go, that's interesting. At least we're going to get some real locations, not all green screen, that kind of nonsense. The trailers look really cool, so I think we're going to get a good atmospheric, creepy movie, which personally I'm looking forward to. I miss that kind of cinema. But there you go, let me know what you think. And until next time, keep up to date with the channel, do the type of things, and remember to keep it creepy, keep it horrific.